There we go. Yep. So my computer sometimes decides, my Streamlabs sometimes decides that the microphone that I prefer to use is not the microphone that I should be using. So there we go. Now I have to start over that entire first bit. Hello, Akira-san. So, a couple things are going to be happening at this current moment. Because, yes, we're going to be doing Duolingo, but I have a couple of things that... I, one thing that I need to do, and one thing that I want to do, to experiment with. The first thing that I need to do is film a self-introduction video for the collaboration event that will be happening this Sunday. For Arrow in a Nutshell. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have to figure out how to just send that in chat. Hi! Yes. But yeah, no, du Duolingo will still be happening. There's just going to be a couple, couple other things first. So for the introduction video, I'm going to be just recording it here while I'm streaming and clip it, highlight it right later so I can download it and uh, just, you know, that'll be easiest. Um, for whatever reason, recording myself in any other case is more difficult. I don't really have a video recorder that can handle getting the VTuber and the background and all that. Mm. And for that, um, I've turned off most of the redeems that are, pretty much all the redeems that are intrusive to, vis to the visual aspect of the video. Oh, speaking of, I need to adjust myself so I'm a little more center. There we go. Um, I also, you, uh, chat and the alerts are not going to be visu visible on here for a little bit. So, for, f humor me a moment while I do this introduction, and then we'll move on to the other thing that I want to do before Duolingo. Yeah, <laughs> I thought so. Thank you, Akira-san. All right, I have my little list of things to use for my introduction. Here we go. And uh, I will ignore chat, but I'll read everything that you guys say afterwards. Hello there, dearies. My name is Hattie Drago. You may call me Hattie or Drago, but most call me the eater of their dreams. I am a dream eater VTuber who nourishes themselves on the knowledge of others, either through the dreams themselves or books and internet search history. <laughs> I have been trapped in this library for quite some time, and now that I'm access to the internet, I'm venturing forth to collaborate with others. Pleasure to meet you all. My, my gender is female, my pronouns are she, her, I, birthday is May 2nd, and I, I do believe I have a lovely dis disposition. <laughs> Nope, nope, okay, cut, cut, <laughs> cut, starting over, cut, bleh, bleh, because <laughs> the thing I'm doing, um, in the future, I am going to do, if you've seen it online, a lot of VTubers have been doing the, um, predominantly in Japanese, but, namae wa hati drago, na 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 na, that thing, but I haven't set that up yet, to do it, <laughs> okay, okay, uh, take two. Take two. Thank you for humoring me. All right. Hello, dearies. My name is Hattie Drago. Welcome to the Wealth of Knowledge Library. You may call me Hattie or Drago. I am a dream eater of knowledge who has been cursed to remain in this library for all time. Although I have created many a loophole for me to be able to escape, including entering this so-called VTuber business. <laughs> okay, cut, I guess. Uh, that that was pretty cute. Um, actually, no, that's probably fine. Short, short, short and sweet. Short and sweet. That was fine. I'll keep that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't need anything extensive. I don't think. I mean, they'll tell me if I, I need anything else. Okay. All right. Now, before we move on to the next thing, let me turn on 
all the things again. There's the that box, there's that box, there's that box. And go back onto the Twitch. Viewer rewards, channel points, manage, turn back on the last hat and the Hetineko Hatineko Nyan redeems. Okay. Okay, those are back on. <laughs> Omaya wa mo shinde iru. Nani? Ah, Akira-san. We are we are all very much nerds here. That that is such a that is such a premium anime line for sure. Speaking of speaking of that that line of text though. Weirdly enough. So the thing that I wanted to do before we start playing Duolingo. Let me switch on to this screen. You can see that I have it in the corner. Actually, let me make sure that I'm adjusted myself so that I can I can read chat while I'm doing this. Perfect. I got the Duolingo set up right here so that we can jump right right into it after a little adjustment. But one one thing about me is that I love the lore of Magic the Gathering. And it's been a hot minute since we've had any new lore for Magic the Gathering. So I thought, and this is another kind of content that I want to try to get into into the future, is reading stories, whether it be cursed fan fiction. No, not actually, but as an example. Or reading Shakespeare, which I have the whole collection of Shakespeare literally right here. I'm staring at it. Or uh, any other poetry or fun, fun things. Anything that's like open to the public to be able to read, I should be able to read myself like this. This is just on a website, on the Magic the Gathering Wizards website. Mm -hmm. uh, let me, I'll turn back on my background music at least. Turn it down a little. Nice. So yes, I'm, I'm gonna read this story. It shouldn't be too long, but I'm very excited for it. As it's the first, yeah, it's the first bit of story that we've had since the end of the last standard set. So it's been a, like a couple months. Okay, we'll get started then. Episode one of the Dominaria United uh, story. Echoes in the Dark, written by Langley Hyde who is a new name to me for the writing team here, but I'm sur sure it will be a lovely job. And I'm also glad that they returned to crediting individual writers again, because they were doing this thing for a while, for a little short stint, where they would have the writers of these stories um, be kind of grouped into one thing, written by the magic story team. And that's not, that's not great. That's not a great thing. Uh, sure, it's a collaborative effort, but eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, let's go. Even from three... Oh, this is Karn, by the way. This is who the story is about today. This is Karn. He is a uh, sentient robot, essentially, in the Magic of the Gathering universe. Um, think of him like, if, you're, if you know of Dungeons and & Dragons, there are the Warforged. He would be pretty similar to that. Mm -hmm. So he is all metal. All metal men. Even from three caverns away, the shriek of breaking metal echoed against the stone. Yet another broken excavator. If Karn had been an organic being, he would have it he would have sighed. Instead, he only paused and listened to the excavator's lingering rattles. He pitied his machines. No single setting could accommodate the eccentric geology of the caves of Koilos, where olivine rock was a, as likely to back into sandstone as cinnabar. But he had no alternative. Here, he'd find the secret to operating the silex. The uh, silex is a uh, weapon that he picked up. He's trying to destroy this enemy faction called the Phyrexians that invaded his home his uh 
I could make an entire stream just about describing Magic the Gathering lore, so I think I'll save that for later. <laughs> and he'd find it before any Phyrexian agent could. Condensation beaded on his body, the droplets joining to slide down his metal plating. No one seemed to believe him, and but he knew the truth. The Phyrexians were here, on Dominaria. He could feel it. Like he could feel the stone and the interplanar technology riddling its layers. Riddling its layers. Hmm. He turned sideways to squeeze through a narrow passage. The basalt grated against his chest, but gave way without scratching him. He ducked under translucent stalagmites into a low cave. Clear selenite coated the bones of Thran prisoners and fragmented Thran technologies, their gold traceries distorted. Karn located the failed excavator to the rear of the cave. The poor excavator steamed, as if vexed with its unmanageable unman job, and its overheated metal housing ticked with a soft tick, 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 as it cooled. Karn wove between the stalactite, stala, 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 stalagmite, stalactite. I think this is. I think this word is misspelled. <laughs> stalactite and water pools, careful not to break any of the delicate violet mineral deposits or disturb the freshwater anemones and tiny blind fish, bleached by a life that had until now passed in darkness. Karn placed his hand on the excavator. Shall I fix you then? Yes. Steam sighed from the overheated machine. At his gesture, screws unwound themselves along their threading. He set them aside and removed the housing. A stripped-out gear greeted him. He removed it and set it to generating a replacement. His fingers tingled with magic, its charge pulling together to generate something from nothing. Metal materialized, layer upon layer, to create a duplicate part. He liked working in the cave's silence. In the sun's absence, only the water's metronome drift measured out his days. He was alone here. Other planeswalkers didn't like the interplanar distortion that rubbed at their senses in the caves of Coilos. Karn didn't either, but he appreciated the isolation it gave him. He didn't have to answer questions or worry about whether the Phyrexians had gotten to someone, completed them, and yes, this is spelled correctly. He could seek the key to operating the Silex in solitude. He would win the fight alone. What fight? Joyra had, Joyra had placed her hand on her hips in expiration. Karn, the Phyrexians were defeated centuries ago. And these new ones you told me about are trapped on, on their plane. They're here, Karn had told her. Defeating the Phyrexians in combat means nothing. They aren't an army. They're hate embodied. They promised Dominaria's destruction. Her voice had softened. Just because Venser... Karn didn't want to think about Venser. He slipped the gear into its shaft and tightened it down. He replaced the housing, sliding it into place and then threaded in each screw. Small pleasures. He patted the excavator and smiled. That's better, isn't it? He knew it wasn't alive, wasn't responding to him, but it almost felt like it was as he flipped a lever and watched the excavator move forward and begin digging into the cave wall. The stone shuddered, Fine white dust plumed away from the excavator's planned shovel limbs. If organic beings had been present, Karn would have had to worry about using water to damp down the dust. Their lungs were so fragile. Better that he was alone, wasn't it? No one held him back. 
eating and sleeping hours away, no one delayed his progress with chit-chat. The pulverized rock turned violet. Then, the excavator's rumble changed to a whine as it hit upon air. The excavator stepped back, and Karn peered into the cavern it had opened. The rock had been thin as an eggshell, but extremely hard. On the other side, the cavern's interior was coated in opal. The glow from his eyes caught on the iridescent flecks, suffusing the cavern with an amber glimmer. The dust-coated workshop looked like it came from Urza's mortal lifetime, or even prior, when magic's theories and practices were less well known. A technology propelled Dominaria's progress forward. Intricate glass tubing, beakers of varying sizes, defunct burners, powdery remnants of ancient chemicals, wire cutters, and rollers for clay. Buckets, coated with desiccated glazes, gears and cogs, even a small, vented forge, tongs placed casually to one side as if its smith, interrupted, had walked away from a task undone. In one corner, shackles. A reminder that the caves of Koilos once housed the ugliness of the Thran before it transformed into Phyrexia. Don't worry if you don't understand what any of this means. I'm mostly, um, I'm taking partly of this, the, the, the main aspect is that I'm reading this so I can c get myself caught up on the lore. Um, but I'm also practicing, practicing voice work, practicing narration in a way. Maybe that should have been the title. Practicing Narration. Hmm. Actually, how long is this? Hmm. Oh, there's a there's a thing on top as well. Eh. Perhaps I won't read this on stream. It is quite long. Hmm. Let's move on. I gotta update my details. Maybe I'll read it later. If people are interested. Read it in spurts. Let me just update my details. Okay. Duolingo. Okay. All right. I've updated. I've updated the stream so that it says we're doing the Duolingo ads as was promised. And so today we're going to continue Japanese. I'm going to try to get through as much of it as possible. Just because you know, I want to get through it. Because and uh, perhaps if I get through it enough, I can move on to another language. And then I'll come back to it on my free time to refresh myself. Intro 3. Oh, let's turn off my background music and turn on the desktop audio. Sue me, I think it said. Sue me. I am going to keep the Magic the Gathering story up there. Maybe I'll read it later on stream. Kyoto. Kyoto. That's the city of Kyoto. Which was originally one of the capitals of Japan before Tokyo. Tsumi. That was... Oh, I forgot already. But... Hashirami. Sumi. This one. Sumi. But we get uh, let's take a listen to some of these. Hashirami. Hashira mi. Omi. Omi. Yumi. 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 This might be sleep, but I don't remember. Sumi. Sumi. Tokyo. Tokyo. We know and love it well. Capital of Japan, Tokyo.
Kyoto. Kyoto. Oh, it wasn't Umi. It was Yumi. It was Yumi. And Umi would have been just one symbol. Because there, it is... Umi has its own kanji. It wouldn't have needed the hiragana for, for me at the end. Kyoto. That would be this one. Kyoto. What are these other ones for fun? Toshi. Toshi. Tonai. Tonai. Tokai. Tokai. Kyoto. Kyoto. So this is to. Don't know exactly what it... I don't remember exactly what it means, though. To. Tokyo shushin desu. Tokyo shushin desu. I am from Tokyo. Oh, hello. Ooh, a friend of mine sharing with me theories. That would be metal. Trying to invite him to, to join chat. <laughs> Yeah, right. Hi, Kyoto ni Yes. Soon? Ah, live. Yes, I live in Kyoto. Mm. Tokyo. That is. Kyoto. Tokyo. Oh, that's funny. Kyoto. Tokyo. No, I do not live in Kyoto. Nice. Ie, Kyoto ni sundeimasen. No, uh, Kyoto live, don't live, don't live in Kyoto. I think the one interesting aspect of Japanese is they tend to forgo saying that I this thing or you this thing. The I or you, the subject of the sentence, is understood. The subject of the sentence is only really important and brought up when, you know, the subject is something that is not you or I etc. At least that's one thing I've noticed. Yes, you do say watashi no, you can say watashi no namae wa cherushi desu, but you can just very well say namae wa cherushi desu, and it'll be understood that you're talking about yourself. Or if you're pointing at something that's like, um, sore no namae wa, sore hito, sorry, sore no, sore hito no, I'm probably I'm probably butchering this just as an example, but like, sore no namae wa uh, aruban des. I don't know why Alban came to mind first. Sumi, that was this one. Sumi. Ru. Ru. Za. 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 Kyoto, that is this one. Kyoto. Tokyo. Tokyo. Mm -hmm. I live in Tokyo. Tokyo ni sundeimasu. Ooh, I should probably practice like what I would say in actuality. I would say, uh, flori f furorida ni furorida. Furorida. Mm. Furorida ni sundeimasu. Yes. That would be how I would say the actual thing I would say. Mm -hmm. Sono hito? That's, a, that's what I was thinking. Sono hito no namae wa uh, Akira desu. Mm -hmm. Za. Za. Kyoto. Kyoto. Sumi. Sumi. So. So. Tokyo. Tokyo. 
Kyoto ni sunde imas. Kyoto? Oh, sorry, nope. I live in Kyoto. Iye, Tokyo ni wa sunde imasen. No, I do not live in. Get, get out of here. Live in, in Tokyo. I do not live in Tokyo. <laughs> Enjoying yourself there, eh? But also, welcome back, Akira-san. I didn't, I didn't properly say hi to you. I think. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no. What? No, no, what is this? What, what, what is this? No, what? Uh, it? No. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It scared me. Yonsai. Yonsai. That's four years old. I, I, I remember that. Yon is four. Sai is your age. Um... Although that's in this context, Yon Sai, four years old. Mm -hmm. Yon Sai. Osaka. Osaka, that's another city. Um, Osaka is where they have USJ, Universal Studios Japan. Currently has um, the Mario, the Mario area, in it as, as well. I did go to USJ many many years ago. Um, what did they have then? They had... I mean, they had the Spider-Man ride. I really hated the Spider-Man ride. I thought I would like it. My, mo my uh, sensory overload got the better of me. Ooh, having some coffee. French roast today. A little watered down, but I like it. I completely missed with this. Oh, it's Osaka. Osaka. They also have very good, um, I forget if it was Hiroshima or Osaka that I had my first, um, Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is very good. And, uh, both regions, it's a specialty of both regions, but they make it differently. It's kind of like the concept of a, like, savory pancake, we'll say. In concept, it's a pan it's how you make a pancake with loaded ingredients on top, but it's not, um, it's not overly doughy. Yeah, it's kind of like a pancake. I'll show you guys real quick. I have the power to show you guys. Okonomiyaki. Why is it light mode? No! Yes, sure. Wait. Uh, sure. Yay! Dark mode! Uh, this is Okonomiyaki. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of like a pancake. The, uh, the light mode was absolutely probably because of the shenanigans that I had to go through this morning. Um, if you, were, if you didn't see the discussion in, in the general chat of the Discord server, um, my internet wasn't working today. I almost wasn't able to stream. Um, but, you know, last resort is calling the company, so my second to last resort was summoning tech support. Okinomiyaki oishine, oishi desu. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually understood that. I didn't have to translate that. Oof. I'm improving. I think that's oishi oishine. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's very delicious. Um, so on top here, you've got... Well, first off, it's like cabbage. Uh, there is flour to kind of keep it together. I think there's egg. I could be mistaken. It's been a while since I've... I did try to make it myself at one point. But on top, you have okonomiyaki sauce, which is a very particular sauce, but very good. Uh, mayonnaise, Japanese mayonnaise, which... Um, uh, what is it? It's a lot sweeter 
than regular mayonnaise because it uses rice wine vinegar rather than uh, regular vinegar in it. And I'm thinking this is probably just like some kind of kakikori or whatever. No, kakikori is not, it's not what I'm thinking of. Anyways, it's very good. I highly recommend it. Um, if one is ever, let's see, places that I've seen it in at least America, um, California, there will be plenty of places in California if you ever visit, um, in that area that will have stuff like this, that will have a lot of interesting, uh, food like this. Here in Orlando, where I am, you have to go inside of Disney World to be able to get it. You have to go inside of Epcot into one of their restaurants. And they have okonomiyaki there. Um, in regards to the outer Orlando area, I, I there's got to be one. There's got to be one. Because they have ramen. They have Korean cafes. They have Korean fried chicken. They're opening a Jollibee's. Orlando is getting up there in the world. But also expensive. Osaka, I completely forgot. <laughs> Osaka. Osaka. There it is. What's this? Moshi. Moshi. Osaka. Moshi mush. Osaka. Osaka. Tanaka to moshimas. To moshimas. To moshimas. Ah, that's another way to say that your name is. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, this is a more casual way to do it, though. My name is... Tanaka. Tanaka to moshimasu. I don't know why the to. It's probably just a particle of sorts. Thank you. Rokusai. 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 Hmm. Jukusaidas. I am Juku. That's nineteen years old. Nice. Let's see. I am Sanju Sidas. Sanju Sidas. Mm -hmm. I am like a well aged cheese or a wine. I have wine. I really should do a drinking stream at some point. That would be funny. Juhasaidas. That would be 18. I am 18 years old. Juhasaidas. All right. Yonsai. 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 This would be Gosai. What are these? Oh, yeah, this was Moshi. 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 My name is. Oh! If you, okay, that's understandable now. So, when. Okay, in Japan, when you pick up the phone, one thing to say is uh, Moshi Moshi. Or like. Moshi Moshi. Cherushi des. Maybe that using the Moshi Moshi response evolved from this i'm thinking that would be that's that's interesting osaka and there's osaka yonsai jun to moshimasu to moshimasu ooh you think it feels more formal hmm i don't know cuz i know like you know in business meetings and stuff they'd be like hajimemashite cherushi sorry hajimemashite Watashi no namae wa Chelsea. Yoroshiku no Um, I guess turn that on his head. It'd be like, Hajime mashite Chelsea to Chelsea to Moshimas. Yoroshiku. I don't know. They both sound really nice, really nice though. John to Moshimas. My name is John. Kyoto. That's Tokyo. Kyoto. Uh, Tokyo. Tokyo. Moshi. 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 
Gosai. Gosai. Osaka. Osaka. Hm. Hajime must be Maria to Moshimas. Hm. Well, there, there we, there we go. I called it. How uh, I called it. I called how you said it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, nice to meet. How do you mean, Uh, that'd be nice to meet you. Maria, ma, Mari, ma, Maria to mish, Maria to moshimash. Sorry. Oh my god. I'm butchering it now. Bleh. Maria to moshimas. To moshimas. How do you mean, Maria to moshimas. Okay. My name is. Maria. Nice. Gosai. 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 Moshi. Moshi. Tokyo. Tokyo. Osaka. Osaka. Kyoto. Kyoto. I did also visit um, Tokyo and Kyoto during my time in Japan. I actually, you know what? I pretty much got to go to all of the bigger cities in Japan, now that I think about it. I didn't get to go to Osaka. Or, sorry, not Osaka. Um, Okinawa. I didn't get to go to Okinawa. Um, but I lived in Sendai, went on a school field trip to the Kansai region, where it was like Hiroshima, Osaka, uh, Kobe, Nara. Uh, am I missing one? I might be missing one. I mean, Kyoto. And then, towards the end of my stay, I went to Tokyo. And actually got to go to Tokyo Disneyland and a bunch of other places. Yeah, it was fun. Osaka ni Gakuse! Yeah, they're very extreme with it. Uh, Osaka ni sundeimasu. I live in Osaka. Yeah. 14 sai desu. 14 sai desu. I am 14 years old. In English, you could just shorten that to saying I am 14. Um, but, you know, I wanted to make sure that it didn't flag me for not enough words in the sentence or something. Hello. Ooh, they're they're ramping up the difficulty for me. Good. I live in Osaka. That would be Osaka. Osaka. Ni sun de i mas. Ha ha. Osaka ni yun. Sorry. Osaka ni sun de i mas. Nice to meet you. My name is Maria. Oh, God. Hajime mashite. Maria. Maria. To. To. Moshi. Moshi. Mas. Mas. If, uh, if one is asking the question, why mas? Instead of the des. Desu is actually just very, very specifically its own verb. So desu, it's not like desu goes on to every sentence. It is very commonly on the end of many sentences. But for the most part, when you're conjugating Japanese words, it's the end, it ends in masu or masen or something like that. I'm sure there are other, other ends of verbs that are different pronunciations that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. But yes. So like tabimas, tabimasen, yomimas, yobi, yomimasen, etc., etc., etc. Uh, so des, desu is just is, are, etc. Masu, masen is what ends most other verbs. Yay! Look at me, I'm smart. Perfecto! Ryugaku. Ryugaku! That's, um... That's... That's the beginning of Ryugakuse. So, this would be like... Gakuse is... Student. 
uh, Ryugaku would be a uh, foreign student. Foreign, foreign student. Gomenne. Sorry. Gomenne. This is very casual. Ryugaku. Ryugaku. Mm -hmm. What are the other ones? I, I should have clicked on before. Maria wa gaikokujin desu. Oh, gaikokujin. That's foreigner, I think. Yeah. Gaikokujin is foreigner. Um, gaikok. Is there, I th I'm trying to remember if there's a shortened method of saying gaikokujin, but I'm not. I forget off the top of my head. Maria is a foreigner. Yay. So this. That's right. So this. Gaijin. Yes. Gaijin, Gaijin would be like a shortened way to say it. Oh no. What was that? Switch. Switch. No. Hold on. Um, Y'all can't see it. But I have many cables, many places, and one said cable I just knocked into was connected to my Switch. Are you okay? Are you okay, Switch? It's alive. Okay. All is well. <laughs> it, it's Sudoku. The, the, the Switch was trying to commit Sudoku. Okay. Alright. Um, that's- we're all fine and dandy. I ended up I ended up downloading the new update for Monster Hunter Sunbreak. I definitely need to get a capture card because I, I would 110% stream Monster Hunter. Maybe even like make a new account and try to speedrun. Because I love that game. Love that franchise. All right. Did I not just I did I, I caught at the very end there that weird pink thing was saying something about knowledge eating i feel called out switch chan minus 10 hp the read says elgato i remember that uh most japanese person sees the word gaijin as an offensive word yeah which is probably why in like let's see in like anime and uh, dramas and such like that, gaijin will be used as, like, a way to be offensive towards a foreigner without the foreigner really knowing about it or something like that. Yeah, it, does, it, does, it's, it doesn't seem offensive to me either. It just seems like a shortening of a word. Moshi. Soto? Soto. Wait, no. Come back to that. Ryugaku. Ryugaku. Gosai. Gosai. Tokyo. Tokyo. Soto. 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 Yubakse deska. R U A foreign exchange student. Ryugakse deska. Not anymore. But I was. It was fun. Which is kind of funny because uh, ry Ryu is also the word, well, the pronunciation of dragon. So, like, I always found that funny. I li like, Japanese is funny that way, where... I mean, English, too. English also has words that sound the same and mean different things. Gakuse! Hmm. So desu yo. So desu yo. Uh, that is... Right. Why the yo? Yo. Oh, I could have... Okay, both were right. So desu yo. That is right, you know. That is not... No, don't take that advice. That is not a sentence that someone someone would say in English. It sounds very off. Ah, my stay was from July 2009 to uh, about mid, late, mid to late May 2010. So, ten months. Ten months I was there. Almost a year. A very fun time. Ryugaku. Ryugaku. Sumi. Sumi. Gaigoku. Gaigoku. Uh, 
Gai Koku, Koku, uh, means country. By by the by, I remember that because we first met via Skype in Hindarasu's garage. Well, that's right. Yes. Right. Ah, oh, now I'm getting now I'm getting other flashbacks that we don't talk about. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, but yes, that, those were fun times where I would pop in on occasion and say hi. Gosai. Soto. Soto. Gai Goku Jin Deska. Are you a foreigner? John is a foreigner. John wa gai koku jin desu. Mm. Hai, so desu. Yes, that's right. Hai, so desu. Yoroshiku ne. Yoroshiku ne. Uh, nice to meet you. Yoroshiku ne. John wa ryugakusei desu. John is a foreign exchange student John wa ryugakusei desu Maria wa ryugakusei desu Maria 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 is a foreign exchange student Maria wa ryugakusei desu Mm. Yay, they made it harder. I think to shorten words, most take the first bit and the last bit. I remember the anime Seito Seitokai no Ichizon discussing an episode of if they should shorten the name and the term Saizon was brought up as shortening. Yeah. Yeah, that that happens a lot in Japanese. They shorten shorten sentences and such. Let me make this bigger actually, this window. There we go. Make this slightly bigger. Slightly more bigger. Actually, yeah, that works. Meh. Nice. Because I don't think there will be anything in this corner that's important. And the chat is... Yeah, the chat will show up. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Continuing. Miss Tanaka lives in Tokyo, yes? Ah, it's a question. Okay, this is a little difficult. Uh, Tanaka... Let's find all the pieces. Tanaka-san. Tanaka-san. Hmm. Wa. Wa. Tokyo... Ni. Sun. De. I. Mas. Yo, ne? Yo, ne? Ha ha! There we go! Tanaka san wa Tokyo ni sunde imasu no yo, ne? So, yo, ne is, you know, yo, ne is right in a way. Just realized that. If I, if I, if I what? Huh? Eh? It, non, 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 yes, nanda. That is right, you know. Uh, so, so desu yo. Mm. Yes. Easy. All right, let's go. Chigai. Chigai. That would. This would be uh, different. So, um, or like, let's see. If someone is asking you a question, is like, "Yo, are you from? Are you from this place?" And you're like, "Chigai mas, chiga, uh, chigai mas, I'm from somewhere else or something like that." Oh, okay. Going off that anime example and Gaijin, right, right, right. 
Well, like, I didn't know the example that you were referencing, but I understood what you were entailing to exemplify with the example. Chigai wa nan desu ka? Chigai wa nan desu ka? Chigai. Difference. What is the difference? What is the difference? Chigai na... Oh, you're having coffee. Let me have some of my coffee too, actually. Mm. I have a cup similar to his, actually. Chigai wa nan desu ka? Chigai. 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 Hachiji. Hachiji. That is eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Hachiji. G is time. Ah, middle school students. Tachi uh, is put onto the end of things to make it plural. So, watashi is I. Watashi tachi is we. Chugakuse is middle schooler. Chugakuse tachi is middle schoolers. Simple enough. Kokose tachi. Kokose tachi. That's high school, right? Kokose yeah. tachi. High school students. Kokose tachi. Nin. Ninsai. Ninsai? Ninsai? Ninsai. One more. Oh, it's right here. Ninsai. 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 I don't remember what that means. I think it. I think it's a number, but I'm not 100% sure. Tokyo? Tokyo. Koko? Koko. That's, that's high school. Um, Koko is high school. The second... The second set of kan- the second kanji on that word, ko, is school. Koko is high school. Chuko is middle school. I forget what primary school is. Moshi. Moshi. Chigai. Chigai. Daigakusei desu ka? Daigakusei. I think this is uh, university, right? Daigakusei. Yeah, daigaku. Daigaku is uh, university student are you a university student i wish <laughs> i i wouldn't mind going back to university honestly if i if i could afford it i love learning koko 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 osaka osaka mm -hmm. sumi sumi chigai chigai gosai no, you're not. Look at you. I. Oh, actually, hold on. I. Watashi wa koko ni ikimasu. Ah, I go to high school. Daigakusei tachi. Dai. Oh, university students. Daigakusei tachi. Shogakusei tachi. Shogakusei tachi. That, oh, that's elementary. Shogakusei tachi. Okay. Shogakusei tachi. Elementary students. It's... It's not... So. <clears throat> oh, something happened. Wait. Doko desu. Q! Thank you for the follow. Hello, Q! Nyaho! Hello! Hello, hello, welcome! Welcome to the stream! I'm Hattie Drago, a Dream Eater of Knowledge VTuber, and today in the library uh, we're brushing up on Japanese. I used to be fluent, I still have a pretty good understanding of it. And then eventually I'll move on to a different language. Welcome, welcome! Thank you, thank you. Um. And then also for my uh, non-Japanese speakers, I'm also kind of trying to explain for those that are also trying to learn. So, <clears throat> this is definitely, this website is definitely written, programmed for a 
an English speaking audience for sure. Elementary, middle, and high school are what we call our general grade system. Oh, nice to meet you as well, Q. Yoroshiku. Mm. Uh, uh, no, that's that was a bad pronunciation. Yoroshiku. Mm. Um, so, if I were to explain it. In America, our, our grade system for students is different depending on the state, for sure. But in general, it would be you have preschool, which would be from anywhere um, below first grade. So under the age of six, uh, rokusai. Under the age of rokusai would be preschoolers. You have kindergarten, you have, uh, like, nursery school. You, you just have, like, places your parents will drop you off when you're too young to go to, 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 go to proper school, daycare, etc., etc. And at least for me, if you're around Rokusai or uh, Nanasai, you start first grade elementary school, which would be Shogaku. Uh, in Japan, I forget what the ages are, really, for that, but you're in sort of primary school for a good, for a good while. Um, actually, I think it even says here, school children, so it's more just like their kids going to school. Um, and then, Chugaku would be middle school. Here in the States, at least for me, Chugaku was 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. That would have been, let's see, uh, trying to think backwards in time. Uh, 8th grade, I would have turned 14. Ju, Ju Yonsai. So, it had been like Ju Ichi, Ju Ni, Ju San, Ju Yonsai. Around that, those age numbers are what middle schoolers are. And then for Koko, Kogaku. Ooh, let me let me see that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a closer look. Uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that's about right. That's about right for for Japan. Yes, yes, yes. Um, three years in Chugaku, in in middle school. Three years in high school, and then university is however long it takes to get your degree. It's about the same. Um, what's interesting are the age differences. I think because. I want to say, um, you're not an adult when you're 18 in Japan. You're considered an adult when you hit 20. And I think that's when you're able to, that's the start of going to university and such. And that's different than in America. In America, you turn 18, you're an adult. And that's also when your last year of high school is. Mm-hmm. All very interesting differences in the world. And also, and uh, another bit about the school system difference, right? Is, um... At least here in the Americas, uh, we start school in August or September. So just after summer. In Japan, they start the school years in April. A lot of this has to do with... In whatever era, uh, there were farming systems, right? So, something to do with harvest seasons. Back when harvest seasons were important and that the children would have to stay home to be able to try to help with harvesting things. Stuff like that. All things that are kind of not important anymore, but because they were such a part of the system, they stayed as a part of... How things were organized. I am a university student. 18 starts uni, but you are still a minor until 20. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay, so it is kind of similar. It was actually the only reason that I was able to um, go to Japan for the foreign exchange program. The foreign exchange program that I was a part of, you had to not be of adult age in the country that you were going to for the majority of your stay. In a lot of countries in, like, Europe, the adult age is lower. And all in other places around the world. So. Like, for example, in the Caribbean. The Caribbean islands. They're the, the, the block of islands that are south of Florida. In the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, there are a lot of ages that are, like, 14, 12 is adult. Separation of words. What do you mean by that? Do you mean like separate words separated by conjugation? Because that does exist. Like in this in this sentence, it doesn't exist because the sentence is short. So short. We have some coffee before before I answer what I was going on. Oh, no, spaces. Yes. Uh, that is intentional. There are no spaces. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, how do I say this? I think historically speaking, this is because Japanese used to be written not left to right, but it was written... Let me... Let me, uh... Let me pull up something. Or not. So, <clears throat> in English and a lot of the European languages, we write from left to right, and we read from left to right, top to bottom. Yes. In Japanese, it used because Japanese was written on scrolls originally, um, yes, you've seen anime, but <laughs> I still have to explain it. Japanese was written from top to bottom. So instead of the characters being written as such, it would be all of this written top to bottom. And it's from top to bottom, right to left, which is why manga is read right to left. And also in manga to this day, it's still written top to bottom, right to left. Um... And that's just always how it's been. And in that regard, there is no need for spacing because you're you're just writing that way. Um, it's only ever really important to be able to separate the sentences, which is why, yes, there are the, the little symbol that you see right here. That is a period. That is the end of the sentence. So in between sentences, at the very least, there would be a space or... Um, in other statements that are on here, there are commas. The commas would separate, like, um, what was the example? Hajimemashite, comma, cherushi to moshimas, period. There is separation when it's importantly needed for the sentence and it's represented by commas. Otherwise, yes. Uh, there's no real spaces in between the characters. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, one thing I can show you guys. Wait a minute. Uh, what is it? Japanese writing paper. I just randomly thought of it. Um... Uh, like this? Yeah, like this. No, I just, no, I just want the picture. Open image. Thank you. That's all I want. Okay. So, this, this paper, right, is kind of an example of how the notebooks and other sort of writing stationery are, uh, different than in the States. So, you know, depending on how you're writing, if you're writing top top to bottom, right to left, 
you would start character here, character here, right, 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 period, and then probably a space before you continue on. Or if you're going the other way, left, or if you're if you're trying to write it in a more uh, European European American way. Ooh. Uh, yes. Let me see that. Go on. Ah, no. It, ah, I I opened a window by mistake. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Gen Genko Yoshi Yoshi Genko Yoshi. Uh, hang on. Where's my little cheat card? <laughs> Oh no, I threw it away then. I know. I ha I can I can write in Japanese on my keyboard, but I forgot what letters are what. No. Again. Ko. Uyo shi. Genko yoshi. Ah, yes, like this. Thank you. Thank you, Akira. So, so this is written top down, right to left. This is how, um, like, you'll have books written like this. You'll have um, notebooks written like this. Shironaka Sukujira. And this is written. Like so. And there are very little spaces, but there are spaces whenever a separation of s separation of sentences or such. So there's a separation right here to make room for the parentheses. There is a separation right here because it's an end of a sentence and beginning of a new one. Parentheses. Yeah. 20, 30 meters? Is that written here somewhere? That's funny. Um, ooh, I do not know that name off the top of my head. Let me see. Red. Hello, Red. Red 110. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I am Hattie Drago, Dream Eater of Knowledge VTuber, and today in the library, um, we are, I am refreshing myself on my Japanese, uh, while also Damon here, uh, is also learning Japanese, or is learning Japanese and giving out pointers while I'm doing it. We were just talking about, um, the topic came up, there are not a lot of spaces in between characters, uh, like this. Ni maru, san maru. Oh, is that written in here somewhere? Oh, I see. Over here. Ah, it. Over here. I see. I see. Ni. Oh, so that's meter. So that's the symbol that they use for meters. Interesting. I guess because that is like a foreign, introdu introduced concept. So of course it would have like not a kanji with it. Okay. Two meters, sun meters. Oh no, 20. That is 20 and 30. Oh. The Enterprise? <laughs> uh, what is this? Still, still, still per. What? What is this? Say? Sulfur, sulfur bottom. Well, I am not, well, mm, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> That's a zero. I had to think about it for a moment. <laughs> it is um, because the, yes, Japanese. Um, the, the symbol for zero in Japanese is actually a lot more complicated. So I can definitely see why they were, they would default to just using the zero instead. Or like a circle instead. But anyways, moving on. We were we were just talking about how 
how spaces work in Japanese. It's really just to separate sentences. Otherwise, all the kanji and hiragana and katakana stick next to each other. Because it, um, it saves space. Like, if you had a space in between each individual word in regards to this, you, you wouldn't be able to fit all this. Like, shiro naga sukujira. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what, the, <laughs> what did we come across? I'm gonna have, like, I might save this to translate later, because, like, I just kind of pulled this up as an example. Um... But if every single one of these symbols was separated into spaces, or if every single, like, group of symbols that meant a word were separated into spaces, like they were in English, you wouldn't be able to fit it all on here, the way it is. Q has had a revelation. It's a name of a whale. Fascinating. The particles help, yeah, the particles help you to identify what is what. Yes, that is correct. So, uh, let's see if a, a better sentence comes. Shamu? No. I mean, Shamu is a whale. Kujira. Kujira is whale. Shiro naga sugijira. Ki. Kujira. Kujira is whale. So, shironagasu. Shiro, white, nagasu. Is this about Moby Dick, the book? That would be funny. Probably not. I don't know what a sulfur bottom is, though. Moving on. <laughs> I'm going to save that for later. Actually, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to bookmark that. I'm going to bookmark that for later to translate. Oh, no. Uh, huh? Are you talking about Jira, the, uh, video, the video game organizational software? Jira. Um... Oh, Gojira. Mm. Yeah, you're... <laughs> no, nah, right. I think, let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and I need to make a new tab for this. You won't be able to see me do it. But I'll go ahead and translate this next batch of kanji because now you have my interest. And yes, I know I could just ask you guys what the kanji means, but it's not as it's not as fun. Mm-hmm. 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 White long. I'm very terrible at writing kanji on a computer, so I'm actually very happy that I'm not showing anyone this. Sorry. Can can you can you thank you. Um do 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 I'm completely butchering this kanji, it's fine. I think I got it. Oh, okay. Um, white fin whale. Oh, it's about a fin whale. It's about this whale. How nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank, thank you for typing it out. Um, 
It would have saved me some time, but I ended up just writing it in Google Translate. How nice. Well, we'll return back to that another time, I think. I Kokosei des I I am a high school student. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna hang on to that to practice. Practice a little more with it later. Resetting myself to see the chat while I'm doing this. Oh, what's this? No. I have a lot of notifications. Koko sei des. I am a high school student. Chigaimas. That is not right. Wait, I hit the wrong thing. That is not right. Chigaimas. That is not right. Ie chigaimas. No. That is not right. Mm -hmm. Chigaimas. Chigaimasu <laughs> That is not right, you know. This is not, this is again, this this type of spelling pronunciation of the sentence is not um correct. <laughs> In English. Like we would not say it this way. It sounds, it sounds very jarring. Ima, chiga imas. Oh, are they using the wrong kanji? That would be hilarious. Oh, oh no, wait, chi, the chi that you're using is blood, is the word for blood, I, or energy. Chigai. Mm. No, you're fine. The chigaimas that they're using here is, um, basically like, no, that's not correct, or something like that. I've heard it before. Oh, oh. well, we, en we reached the end of that. Kenta. 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 Uh, the second character here I know means large, or I want to say it means large. So, Naomi. 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 I already forgot. Naomi. Naomi. Nice. What are these other ones? Oh, this is um. This is Tokyo. Tokyo. This is Osaka. Osaka. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Naomi. Naomi. Are these? Oh, these are just more cities. I think. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna see Saitama in here. I know I know that one. And I I know Sendai. I would know Sendai if I saw it. Kenta wa gakusei desu. I hate the fact that they teach you Japanese names. Yeah. Like Tanaka or it's mostly just Tanaka. They mostly just use the most common Japanese names. Oh, you mean Kenta. Oh, that is just the Japanese name. Why? What? That, why? Yeah, exactly. Um, right, it doesn't necessarily have to be that kanji as well. Because, like, I know in... Yeah, surnames are fine. Surnames are usually the same, but, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. They do, they do. So, like, you could introduce yourself as, like, I am Kenta... Uh, but it's not necessarily going to be these kanji or like Mizuki as a name could be like me like Mizu as in water, but it could be me as in something else, Zu as in something else. <laughs> so yeah, the the kanji could be very very different depending on uh, basically the same as like I don't know. Uh, at least here in the States, or at least for, for English folk, English speaking folk like me, uh, you know, we, our names are chosen for random reasons nowadays. 
My name, Chelsea... I just got I just got the revelation that I've been saying my real name in Japanese this entire entire time. Uh. <clears throat> Let's just say my real name at the time you heard nothing. My real name at the time that the name was chosen there was a let's say celebrity of sorts that had that name. And that's why many girls in my generation have this name. Mm-hmm. Something else, yes. But, yes, that's correct. I am not named this name that I will not say because of the celebrity. I am named this name because my mother used to work as a lifeguard. And her friend, fellow lifeguard, had a dog that had that name. So I'm named after a dog. Inudes. If you will. <sighs> yeah. So, in that logic, right? So, kenta here. The kanji mean something. But a different kenta, their kanji of their name, will mean something else. What are these reactions in the comments? Stop. Anyways. Gakusei desu. Kenta is a student. Yes, at least I'm loyal in their eyes. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Like, my, my older sister, she ended up getting the name of... Uh, our grandma. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Ah. Um. I need to come up with a nickname for my sister so I don't say her name outright. Because, like, my mother, I'm just going to call, um, Nani Drago. Um. Dragosis, I guess. Ah, thank you for the head pat, Akira-san. Thank you. Oh, and a stretch. Oh, gosh. I have been sitting here quite a while. <laughs> I should pour myself a little bit more coffee as well. Dragosis. Yeah, Dragosis works. Okay, that was the finishing of that cup of coffee. I'm going to pour myself another one. Uh, today, so for my coffee, I have just on hand a French press that I brewed coffee out of, but the grounds are not. Oh, I should I should establish for our new viewers. I used to work as a barista for Starbucks, um, so I know I know coffee pe pretty well. Um, the grounds for the French press are not correct, so I am using a sieve. I don't know what you would call that in Japanese. Something to make sure that I don't get the grounds in my coffee, or at least not so many of them. Or it might be unsuccessful. Maybe the grounds are too, th too fine. Okay. Continuing onwards. Kenta is a student. Kenta wa go gakusei desu. Goodbye. Naomi wa Kyoto ni sunde imasu. Oh, this is just a name of a person. That's dumb. Filt- I mean, filter, yes. I'm- I'm trying to think of what it would be in Japanese, though. Firuta. Actually, maybe. I don't know if they're- they had, like, a filter a filter for, like, coffee and tea back then, before, like, coffee was introduced. Huh. Naomi lives in Kyoto. Naomi wa Kyoto ni sunde imasu. Kenta. Kenta wa Tokyo ni sunde imasu. Kenta lives in Tokyo. 
Mm-hmm. Naomi. Uh, Naomi. Yay. Kenta. Kenta. Okay, get out of here. Nensei. 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 Moshi. Moshi. Gosai. Gosai. Yay. Naomi wa gakusei desu. Firuta is fine. Okay, yeah. So I'm using a uh, firuta. Uh, it's not. It's not. Um. It's not made out of paper. It's not made out of kami. It's made. It is a. Uh, <sighs> metal. It's a. It's a metal firuta. Mm -hmm. I guess you would say metoru firuta if you were feeling very very. Um, if you were being, being uh, if you forgot all the words entirely, because people, <laughs> ja I mean, uh, the Japanese language does know metoru gyu sarido, or however it's pronounced. And now I'm just butchering the language forever. It's fine. Naomi is a just a student. Okay, where are those stupid names? Naomi. Naomi. Kenta. Kenta. Okay. Nensei. Nensei. Osaka. Osaka. Sumi. Sumi. Okay. Naomi to Kenta wa daigakusei desu. Oh, okay, cool. Naomi and Kenta are university students. Yay. All right. Perfecto. And we're done with that lesson. Brilliant. Uh, what's this? Stories? What is... I don't I don't know if I want to explore that. Uh, well, I guess I was doing restaurant before. The break. Hiru. 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 That's a verb, for sure. I just don't know which verb. Bun. Bun. Mm -hmm. Hiru? Hiru. Ah, that would be Hiru gohan. Hiru gohan. Asa gohan for breakfast. Ban gohan for dinner. Hiru gohan. Okay. I do wonder if these are actually commonly used words, though. Asa gohan is, I know. Hiru gohan. Ban gohan. Mm. Asa gohan? Asa gohan. Mm hmm. Ban. Ban. Cool. Eh! Ah! The first wrong thing! It is common? Okay. <laughs> it's common to say them. It was this one instead. They tricked me. It's a trap. <laughs> bon Gohan. Okay. Memorizing this symbol, because this is the one that's relevant. Bon. Bon Gohan. Ooh, okay. Oh, they haven't introduced the kanji for oishi in this particular lesson. I see. <laughs> it was a bad question. <laughs> it was a terrible question. It had two words for bon that were pronounced bon. Um, this, kono, this lunch, lunch, is delicious. Kono o hiru gohan wa oishi desu. Oh, that does help. Mm-hmm. Sunday. Day. Dinner. Mm-hmm. Ban gohan. Hiru? Hiru. Ban? Ban. Sen? Wait, hold on. En? En. That is yen. Or, uh, that is the, um, that is money. Yes? That is yen. I believe. I believe that is the one used for yen. Um, although... No, normally not. It's like the Y with slashes that they use for yen more often. 
Mon. Mon. Sen. Sen. That took me a moment. Okay, so for those that didn't know, the Damon, my friend Damon here, uh, Mon is uh, 10,000, I want to say, and Sen is 1,000. Although it's been a hot minute. Sono menu. That menu. Sono menu. Hiru. Hiru. Sen. Sen. Man. Man. En. En. Ban. Ban. Okay. Kono asa gohan wa oishii desu. This breakfast is delicious. Ireland. <laughs> Kono asa gohan wa oishii desu. Kono ban gohan wa oishii desu. This dinner is delicious. Kono ban gohan wa Ban Gumi! Is this the same ban that's in Ban Gumi? Uh, Kono Ban Gumi wa, uh, whatever, the, whatever they say at, like, during commercials in Japan. Like, right, or, uh, no. Sponsors. Kono Ban Gumi wa sponsor de o Christmas. Or something like that. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not the same one? It's not the same one. Okay. It's a different one. Okay. Okay, okay. I was very excited for a moment. <laughs> but I also can't say that thing. Oh, Damon, you're talking about um uh from Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Bangumi. Ah, Bangumi. Different one. I see. I see, I see. Very cool. Learning. Refreshing. Gozen. 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 That would be 8 a.m. Yep. Ni. Asa gohan o tabimas. I eat breakfast at 8 a.m. All right. Gogo shijini ban gohan o tabemasu. Hmm. Gogo, that would be PM. Shichiji, that's 7, so 7 PM. Ni, ban gohan, dinner, o tabemasu. I eat dinner at 7 PM. Yeah. Nice. Gogo shichiji ni ban gohan o tabemasu. Sono itsu wa ikura desu ka? Isu, the chair. That is chair. How much is that chair? That hanbon is related to printing. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Sono tsukue wa ikura desu ka? How much is that desk? Sono sukue wa that desk. Ikura desu ka? How much? Mm. Ah, this again. Ban. Damn you. Damn you, Ban. Hello, Ban. Alright. Shokudo. 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 Steaky. Steaky. Karai is um spicy. Hiru gohan is lunch. Steaky. 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 Shokudo. Shokudo. What are the other ones here? Shokumotsu. Shokumotsu. Shokuyoku. Shokuyoku. Shokuten. Shokuten. Shokudo. I don't know what they mean yet, but eh. Shokudoku. Oh, sorry. Shokudo. <laughs> Please speak English. <laughs> no. Steki wa sutekine. Mm. Steki desu. Steki. 
steak wa steak desu. Steak is delicious. Steak is good. Ego de o negai shimas. Okay. Kore wa mazui desu. Ooh. Kore wa mazui desu. That is this Is it specifically taste? Mazui. It is taste. It tastes bad. Kore wa mazui desu. This tastes bad. Okay. Hyaku. Yes. Hyaku. Hyaku. No, no. Keep the puns going. I love. I love puns. Puns are the best. En. En. Sen. Sen. Shokudo. Shokudo. Hiru. Hiru. Eh. Ano itsu wa ikura desu ka? How much is that chair? They could say sore no as well. Dono table desu ka? Dono table desu ka? Which table is it? Hmm, okay. Koko wa shokudo desu. Koko wa, what is it? Shokudo. Oh, cafeteria. Shokudo. Oh, wait, that's the, that's the kanji from uh, Shokugeki no Soma. Okay. I recognize it. It's like the most obvious kanji in that whole title. This is the cafeteria. Koko wa shoku, shokudo desu. Hmm. Please speak Japanese. Hmm? Oh, I'm hearing noises from the outside. Ah. Nihongo de o I realize I pronounced that, I butchered that particular word a moment ago. My apologies. <laughs> How? I like, I like this person's pronunciation of stuff. How much is that? Desk. Ano sukue wa ikura desu ka? Mazui desu. It tastes bad. Mazui desu. Steak wa tabemasen. Duh, why not? Steak wa steaky desu. I do not eat steak. I eat asakohan, asakohan breakfast in the cafeteria. Shokudo de asakohan o tabimas. Kono steak wa oishi desu ne. Kono steak wa oishi desu ne. This steak is delicious, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, you're making it harder? Okay. Which which chair is it? Oh, that was Dono Isu. Dono Isu desu ka? Yeah, all right. What? You just, okay. Dono Tsukue desu ka? That wasn't hard. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Cold. Tsumetai! Tsumetai. This is hot. Atsui. Tsuki. That just means like. Why? What? That picture is weird. Tsumetai. Tsumetai. Okay. Tsuki. I like cameras. Kamera ga suki desu. Atsui. Atsui. Tsumetai. Tsuki. Okay. If you don't like meat, you poor child. I don't like. Niku wa suki janai desu. I don't like meat. 
Suki. 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 Or the other ones. Atsui, Sumitai. Ma. Ma. Suki. Mm. Ooh, egg. That's egg. I like eggs. Eggs are very good. Tamago ga suki desu. Sumitai. 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 Man. Oh, that's also man. Man. Atsu. Atsui. Suki. Suki. Hiru. Hiru. Mm. Ocha ga tsumetai desu. Why is. Uh, well. I mean, some people like iced tea. The tea is cold. Ocha ga tsumetai desu. Isn't there a different way to say cold? Isn't it furui? Like atsui and furui des? Am I wrong? I want to say that that that's a thing. Tsuki? Suki. Tsumetai? Tsumetai. Man? Man. En? En. Atsu? Atsui. Mizu ga tsumetai desu. The water is cold, as it should be. Unless you're making pasta. The bread is hot. Pan ga atsui desu. The rice is hot. Gohan wa atsui desu. How do you not like water? What the heck? I... <laughs> oh! Tsumetai, cold things. Furui is cold temperature. Okay. Ah, that's right. Um, atakai would be hot air as well. Okay, so that's the difference. Good to know. Uh, tsumetai... Samui. Samui! That was it. Thank you. I was pronouncing it wrong. But I did remember that that was a different thing. Okay, so, yep. Uh, tsumetai Atsui for things being temperatures. F uh, samui and Atsui for temperature. Okay. Good to know. Ah. I do not like water. You monster. Yasai wa suki ja nai desu. Yasai, isn't that grass? No, that's that was, that's vegetables. Yasai is vegetables. Uh, I, no. I like vegetables. Oh, do not. Suki ja nai. Ah, I should have read the whole sentence. I'm lu. Yeah, my hand. Atata. Kai. Mm. Warm. Yes. I messed that sentence up. It's fine. Tsumetai gohan ga arimasu. Tsumetai gohan ga arimasu. There is cold rice. Okay. Atsui ocha desu. It is hot tea. Atsui ocha, ocha desu. Yasai wa suki ja nai desu. There we go. I do not get 